Hey, this is Blind Sally. Welcome back to Kill Zone Mercenary. I'm here with Blind Sally and Nine Gear Crow and C. Jacobs. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. It's hi, C. Guys. Jacobs time. What, really? Like, I love the fact that you have so little faith in us that you had to actually introduce us yourselves. Like, you couldn't trust us to do it ourselves. To, to be fair, I wouldn't trust myself with that either. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, yes, it technically has been two years since we last recorded any of this shit, but, uh... It hasn't changed a bit. Yeah, I was gonna say, here, here's the intro to Killzone 2 again. Oh, I missed this. Is that the one with many Hitlers? Yes. Also, oh, I love yeah, it. Also, I, I love the fact that uh, in Gray's propaganda video, like, the intro, like, it literally cuts out right before the art cannons blow the shit out of her fleet. <laughs> That's how it always goes. <laughs> Cut out the bad part. Yep. <laughs> it's a kill zone game, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Th thanks, Benoit. Yeah, he yeah. Here's the second part of that uh, cutscene. Just oh, gee, I wonder why she didn't want us to see that. No idea. I look forward to finding out in Kill Zone Two. What? Hey, wait. Didn't that lady get shot in the fucking head? Didn't she get shot in the face in like the last mission I was with you guys with? She got better. Don't worry about it. Okay, cool. Speaking of which, it's been like two years, but I'm still not over you guys pulling the wool over my eyes with Ivanov again. I can't believe you keep doing this to me. I... Yeah, see, well, at least, at least you know, the game is acknowledging his sacrifice, but don't worry, that is never going to happen okay, again. Okay, thank you for not talking at all during the cutscene, CJ, because the Nine Gears Crow, I appreciate your guys' You fucking son of a bitch, why didn't you say that to begin uh, with? CJ, because I know I led you astray with Ivanov, but Karel here... He is our true new NPC bud. Corel will be the guy that travels with us throughout the rest of the game. Uh, he is no I. Corel. Corel. Uh, um. Here we go oh again. God. Well. Oh my God. I, what? Why do you keep doing this to me? I don't understand. Huh. Am I cursed? Like no, uh, we're, we're just assholes. But hey. oh my God, I think I'm gonna hey, be sick. We just lost Look Corel. Look bright side, at least the game didn't bother to humanize him like it did Ivanov, so you're not that broken up about it this time. I, I guess that's true. Sally, on the other hand, are, are you okay, dude? <sighs> you, you got it all out of your system? I think he's distraught with grief. It's fine. We'll we'll deal with it on our own. Gotta process this emotional turmoil. <sighs> oh, well, look, look on the bright side. We got a bigger paycheck because Corel ate shit. Hey, guys. I'm back. <laughs> it's, uh... Sorry, losing Corel there just uh, kind of caught me off guard. But I'm back, I'm back, and Welcome you know back. what? We'll just we'll do this mission by ourselves. We got I mean, this. Don't worry about you it. Think you'd, you we think you'd this. have been used to it by now, but uh, I guess uh, well, you're you're a nice, big, sensitive guy, so uh, it's 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 understandable. <laughs> I better uh, say hello to Blackjack before I go any further. So, no, He's sorry. I expanded th across Helgan extensively, I see. I think you mean Buseven Ak Jack. I believe that was pointed out to us, or me at least. Oh, sure. Laugh it up. <laughs> That's our blackjack for you. I guess. He's just enjoying all this. <laughs> He's the audience stand-in. If you're listening to the background, you can see some wonderful pre-recorded messages from our friend Skalar Vasari. Oh, I was gonna ask if that was him. Pumping up soldiers that are currently patrolling here. Okay, so here's a question, Sally. Did, did they actually get Brian Cox back to redo or to do lines for Mercenary, or is this just canned audio from, like, elsewhere in the series? To answer your question, yes, you will see that in a moment. Really? Neat. I love video games. <laughs> I love voice acting and the voice right, acting. so I got skill. some stealth stuff going on. I got the wonderful, uh, I don't know the name of the submachine gun, the nutshot gun, the, I guess, the ISA nutshot no, gun the, from Killzone 1. It's the Dick Shot 5000. Uh, I will do my best to only crotch shot every single Hellgast going forward, but I, I make no promises, gentlemen. No, it's, I, if I were you, I would bring along the shotgun that makes people backflip, but that, I don't, that one's not in this game, I don't think. No, that, that's Shadowfall exclusive, unfortunately. Yep, gonna go forward with the crotch shotgun. 
Okay, sure. Hey, that's one way to approach tactics. I mean, your guy is about that tall. <laughs> no, you shut up. Where are the nuts? Find the nuts. Oh, hang on. Uh, well, I, that's, that was not a. That wasn't a nut shot. Well, I mean, that guy was thinking with his dick, so I guess it technically counts. <laughs> good one, Crow. Hey, that was a good one. we did it. We got there in the end. I appreciate this stealthy approach. It's very unlike you playing Killzone, Blind Sally. Crow, I'm sure you would be an expert if you were, you know. There's at to least one in. more sniper dude out there, so I'm going to very quietly knock him out. And then if I can get the two other guards, no one should be able to hit the alarm and call in reinforcements. Well, and, and I will get that done because I'm that good, gentlemen. I am that I, good. I'm on pins and needles to see how you fuck Ooh, this up. Headshot. Uh, I'm not gonna say I don't trust you, Lion Sally, but I have watched you play Killzone for like two or three years. So, yeah, like this. this oh. oh, yes. <laughs> Ooh, headshot. He did it. Are, are you gonna do that for every headshot you get? Please do, actually. Please, you know what? I want to listen to that for the next, like, half an hour. Yes, C. Jacobs, I do intend to do that for every single headshot in this video. Hell yes! <laughs> yeah! I'm on board for it, then. Well, I mean, between the two of you, that technically counts as a majority, then. <laughs> hey, you're hey, you're free to drop out and let wait Blind Sally and I continue this by ourselves, eh? Whatever you want. All right, see ya. Just wait for it. <laughs> Don't leave me! Just waiting for him to turn around. Uh, but Crow, this will be All so right. boring with only me and Blind Sally. <laughs> Sally, I noticed you haven't uh, gone for a single nut okay. shot. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed, but maybe you're waiting for the SMB. Headshot. <laughs> uh, what, cri crippling disappointment in a kill zone game? Surely you just. <laughs> I guess that makes this the Hitler gun. So there are two then. routes through here. <laughs> One through this little caverny place right here that goes across the catwalk to a thing me. And then if I go up the ladder, there's another thing that goes to like the catwalks up above in a little thing me. I'm going to do this one first. Okay. Multi-part objectives in a kill zone game. I don't think I've ever heard of such a thing before. Although technically the objective is just to kill everyone, so. <laughs> I promise to continue to be very stealthy here, gentlemen. For some reason, I don't believe you. As you and I all know, stealth gameplay is very exciting to watch. And I'm very good at it. Uh, well, no, I'd agree with both those statements. You're a pro. I got the utmost faith. <laughs> Man, the FOV here is making me very nauseous. <laughs> yep. Kill zone. <laughs> Okay, can, and again, can you imagine having to play this, like, on a PS Vita? Ugh. Okay, but at least it would be far away from you, and not, like, computer screen size. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a joke. You know when you have, like, a joke, and you want to workshop it, because you don't really know how to execute it? Something about putting the ass in Assassin. Hmm. Because I'm really good at it. I, you... I'm going to totally stealth this room right here. I mean, you did. Just like I did the first room. I can't think of anything, honestly. I'm not good at making jokes. Sweet what do you think boy. I am, a let's player? This guy up. Now, the only thing I can come up with is, like, about how there's two asses in Assassin, but again, that that's not particularly funny. No, because there's three of us here, so it wouldn't oh. work. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Well, one of us has certainly made an ass of themselves right now. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, oh. Good luck, Sally. And everything is exploding now. Wonderful. Uh, R.I.P. Danner. <laughs> I meant to do that because I knew the guy was going to wave at me if I got shot oh, by him. Of fucking course you did. You know what? <laughs> That's, That's pretty that they fucking do good, though. They you <laughs> did they, that they taunt you? That. That's really so, cool. Try that again. I know, like that. I got the silence. That gun. is like one of the things I that I will, love. I will go in quiet this time. Watch but that. consistently across the games, it's like if you fuck up and get killed, they will taunt you. They got personality. They're not like the the <laughs> Metro cops in Half Life, uh, where they're just NPCs. Yeah. 
Oh, that guy got a wicked bad of kills on physics right as he died. Yeah, I agree. I wouldn't have it any other way. But, yeah, totally, oh, man. Jesus. Yes! It is kill zone though. Yeah, see, you see, you, you got your you got your backflip in there somehow. Like, it's true. I guess I am glad I'm here, despite you, you guys taking advantage of I'm me emotionally. I'm about to enter the kill zone. I, I think we've already been in the kill zone though, like for a <laughs> long time. Some might say too long. Far too long. <laughs> It's it's taken us like like four or five years too long to play these six hour yeah. games. Also, wait, wait, did did they pronounce it Jamar? Yes, they are pronouncing it Jamar. Backslash. Well, it's funny you say that because that actually reminds me of a poem that Crow wrote to commemorate our experiences with the kills. Oh God, series. why are you bringing this up? Um, Crow, I know it's not something you've read aloud very yeah, often, but I wondered if you and wanted with good to reason. perhaps read the poem right now for this LP. Uh, you know what, Crow? I, will, uh, I encourage this. Don't be this. bashful, Crow. Please, uh, please tell us your Killzone poem. Your ode to Killzone, so to speak. Uh, well, alright, well, I've, I've got it here with me. Very conveniently, so yeah. just hang on, let me just gotta... Did it, did it, did My it. god. Alright, here it is, I found it, alright. Killzone Hit it. by Nine Gear Crow. For a big dirty baseline, wanna hear one? I have a great time. A bit of bottom man's all I require. Easy. I let the baseline take me higher. My friends think that it's okay, a bad habit, bro. but I'm just like, fuck you, damn it. If you take my bass away, I'll blow your fucking face away. You might think I'm over the top, but I hear that baseline drop. I just can't control my actions, but I still feel satisfaction. So don't come around here whinging. I just wanna hear the baseline rinsing or rip nope. the skank out all day. If not, get the fuck out my way. I don't need no speed. Nope. I don't need no heroin. No thanks. I don't want no coke. Not today. You can keep your ketamine. Yeah. I'm a baseline junkie. What? Yeah. I'm a baseline junkie. Tell him again. I'm a baseline junkie. Tell him again. Tell him again. And I like it funky. Big, dirty, stinking bass. Dirty, dirty, stinking, big, dirty, stinking bass. Dirty, dirty, stinking, big, dirty, stinking bass. Bass, bass, bass. Bravo. The, what what Bravo. the fuck? Pro, Bravo. What, what are you doing? I, who, I must who told say, you to interrupt me? I the, had forgotten that. Who told you to interrupt me? I will so fucking long. kill you, oh man. God. But. It's, it's perfect, but I hate it. These I love it, but I, it's the it again, worst. It really reminded me how inspiring it was. Thank you for sharing that aloud to myself, C. Jacobs, and the rest of the Killzone mercenary oh, audience. No, I appreciate it. Kill zoners out there. I'm just saying. I think I think I, uh, Crow was being sarcastic. This I don't... is a this is a big day for all of us. I think, and a big a big day for the Killzone universe as a whole. I don't think there's ever been such prose and poetry created for this universe this is uh I, this is a sort of something shakespearean think you I, know we, we've we've asked the question what is shakespeare and together today right now we found it i guess yeah we have our answer yeah the, this is what the fuck a shakespeare is it's it's i mean i i might have interpreted that differently personally but i appreciate the effort that you put in to that unique performance crow I mean, uh, I would say, I would say that my favorite so section part here was the fuck you. That part. I have <laughs> to lower these little shield thingies and put on these little hacking thingies. Uh, I can't leave this area while the hacking device is going on. And there's all these guys that are going to pop out at me and try and kill me in various ways. It feels but like I there's a lot of that in this game. If I, when I come down, kill the first wave, then put the hacking device down, then kill the next wave. Because if I if I go down the elevator and then put on the hacking device, I get I get double the waves. I mean, some extracurricular killing <laughs> never hurt anyone except for Ivanov. I guess it hurt Rico. Yeah, R Rico's what happens when you enjoy killing a bit too much. Yeah. Also, you may notice that without Karel or Ivanov to fill in the empty space, uh, Benoit has taken it upon himself to really, really just babysit me this mission he's just kind of jabbering on in my ear and it's it's really bad this one it gets better 
Yeah, but but better. look on the bright side. At least but you're not alone. Like at least you have us two there with you, and you're not by yourself. Yep. And, and I get it, because, you know, all the ISA cruisers are being shot to hell right now, and Admiral Gray is breathing down his back, so he's breathing down mine. Um, and there's no Corel for him to yell at, so... So we get yelled at. Kill zone. That's just kind of how it goes. Yeah, kill zone micromanagement. (laughs) But he's helping with situational awareness, at least. Vaguely. He's like like your codec, your Metal Gear Solid codec. Thanks, Benoit. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. Yeah, exact same (laughs) thing that we just did. See? Oh, okay, but actually, you're right. He is a little <laughs> overbearing. I'm just going to do both. Let's just do double the waves. Cool. Does it, like, spawn double the enemies, or...? Or, like, is there a way to, like, cheese it, like, with the Admiral Grey cutscene from, like, the previous mission, where, like, if you just wait it out, it just goes zoop right to the... <laughs> oh! Yeah, I, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I bet that, you know what? I bet it does work <laughs> like that. I would appreciate it if that was a consistent mechanic all the way across the game. Right, like your 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 hacking drone just has a sense of ironic <laughs> timing. <laughs> Executing irony.exe. <laughs> I, I believe that would be a door hinge. But the, the answer is door hinge. Sally, are you okay? You know what? Never mind. I think he's fine. I think he's just lost in the heat of battle right now. Give him time. I mean, that that is, that is a pretty decent pun if you make, like, a stone hinge out of doors. Would it technically count as a door hinge? I'm leaving. I just, I can't, I can't handle this anymore. The, the puns. All right, oh. see you, man. I just, ever since that Dead Space episode, I've lived in fear of when that time would come again, and it has arrived. I mean, it is highly appropriate, seeing as how we've got the big giant scope on the Scylla chain so gun. What's great about this part right here Fuck. is uh, the, the opening cutscene of Killzone 2, all those ISA cruisers blowing up the Hellgas cruisers, that was thanks to the hard work that hired mercenaries did in Killzone Mercenary, Aaron Danner Ivanov. We used those codes to get them through, right? Mm-hmm. And, and now... They are trapped in orbit because they can't land because of these massive art cannons. And once again, the ISA are only going to be able to move forward thanks to the hard work of hired mercenaries. Uh, Danner right here, and I guess Benoit told me to do things. What about what so, about Corral? I mean, he, he, he did the hard work yeah. of eating that missile so that it didn't get uh, Danner. So, yeah, technically he contributed. That's... That is true. He did contribute his body to the advancement of learning and war. Also, yeah, I, I just want to point out that I love the fact that, like, the Hellgas had, like, a big giant, like, hologram room dedicated specifically to just telling whether or not the, uh, the art cannons were online or not. Also, yeah, just... Oh, yeah, it's, it's this again. Just, yeah, real, just real quick, I just want to ask a... Uh, is that uh, Vanguard sequence, like, actually scripted, or can that thing just, like, land on you and kill you hilariously? To answer your question, yes, you will see that in a moment. I really would like that to be true. I so really... Yeah, Porcupine Missile Launcher is the greatest thing on the planet. It is Iron Man's shoulder launcher thing me. It just, you know, they just home in, you fire and forget, is what it says to do, and you do it. And yes, it makes this really easy. And you, you can see now Admiral Gray is uh, looking over my shoulders, telling me exactly what to do, because I didn't have enough uh, upper management, micromanaging. Yeah, great! So now we've got Angry Space Mom and an Angry Space Dad looking over us. Boom! Yeah, I. I w- well, the rankings don't really do anything. That's just I think that's like online stuff. It's yeah, because like, it doesn't mean a thing really. He doesn't seem to... The, the enemies don't seem to really know what to do when they reach the transmitter. They just kind of, like, <laughs> yank on it. They're just angry that you're bothering them. To be fair, if someone was firing missiles at me, I would be pretty upset at them as well. But I don't know if I'm as brave as they are. Or maybe as stupid. Oh. Okay, yeah, Dude, definitely as like stupid. I, I was gonna say, like, it, it kind of feeds the narrative that the Hellgasts are basically just ants. Like, they are literally just this... Sp- 
swarm well, hive mind. You know, I don't. I don't know why you would want to do it at this point in the LP. But if if you wish to sing, um, hot for teacher. You're you're welcome to sing it or whatever Eddie Van Halen song you want to sing. I think that's who that is. I don't know, man. Well, I don't know my hair metal, but I guess you're the expert here, so you know, sing some Eddie Van Halen. You got this. Were I were I to sing it for you, I, I think I, mean, I, I would... look forward to hearing your David Lee Roth impression. No, well, okay, listen. Were I to do it, I feel like I would be doing a disservice to Eddie Van Halen. God rest his eternal soul in the forever skeleton kill zone war. I I think it would be better for us to just play a very long excerpt of the song. You know, just completely uncut, the full thing, no covers or anything like that. Because, I mean, you listen, we're all here having fun. If, if, if Sally's going to make demands of me, then you know I might as well make demands of him, right? It's not like there's any negative repercussions of playing a full song <laughs> in YouTube. I mean... None of these videos are monetized anyway, so yeah, go, go for it, man. Go whole hog. I've got it bad. Beep, beep. Honestly, me too. Yeah, that, that's good old Ben White for you. Sadistic and racist. And now, thanks to us, mission one of Killzone 2 may begin. You're welcome, Sevchenko. You're welcome, Rico. We did it! And the other two was whatever the names uh, are. Garza and Natko. We, we canonized the war crimes. Gatko and Norza. Close enough. So, here's... Oh, man, check this out. I miss you, Garza. So, I got all these drones that were going to come in and try and destroy me, but the Jamar just, the Jamar just knocks them right out. It disables them completely, and I can just shoot them out of the sky at my leisure. Yeah. Well, that's good. I mean, it's like clay <laughs> pigeons. Yeah, all, all you... Because I'm like a secret yeah, all, agent. All you need to do is just, like, shout pull. Right. I got all the cool gear. But it's it's very good to see that, like, Hellgas drones have not improved one iota since, like, Lente's useless-ass pieces of shit and Yeah, like how they one. just hang there in the sky. You know, everything's disabled, except the propulsion that lets them float there perfectly. Everything else is disabled, except for that. Well, you're the protagonist, so they have to stop and wait for you to, to <laughs> shoot them down. You gotta finish the job. Obviously. Oh, this is the coolest um, shit in the world. With see Jacobs in the audience, I will not actually be looking at the sky. Thanks. So we've just abandoned the stealth then, I assume. I assume this isn't the stealthy try. I mean, what the hell gave you that impression? Also, I, well, well, that'd be one way of yeah, doing it. Yeah, nice... Nice job yeah, running sure. through all of your uh, actual ammo. Like, why don't you just throw the fucking gun at them? That'd probably be more useful at this point. Well, whatever you think, man. This kill zone. It's fine. I guess that's true. It In a war zone, anything that shoots bullets and kills enemies is technically sufficient. Okay, that's the last. Yeah. Yes, it is, it is very true. The, the only winning move is not to play... <laughs> Welcome to Kill Zone. And we get to actually see Benoit's character model and his gigantic sniper rifle. He looks like a Gears of War character. We will get. We do get it for ourselves. But uh, for now, yeah. That Jesus, yeah, no, that. He, and we will get to see. Yeah, no, that, that's not way. really a sniper rifle. That thing looks like a railgun. Yeah, that's the that's the eraser. Nice. Gonna just pull up my. Well, PDA. yeah, I guess it is like a mini rail cannon, but you know. Mission accomplished. Yeah. Let's go <laughs> home, team. Yeah, you can tell Danner's not a cool guy because like cool guys don't look at explosions, but Danner actually has to like put his arm screen up to like literally up to his eyes so that he can't look at the explosion. They don't even want <laughs> us to see it. That's okay. I didn't yeah. need to see it also anyway. Yeah. Killzone's explosive enough for me also, already. We, we got the Eight of Spades. That's that's a Van Halen song, isn't it? I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. Like, every time I turn around, the Eight of Spades, the Eight of Spades. Yeah, if, yeah, if you like to gamble, Danner will show you how to win. You know, you win some, you lose some. It's all a game to Killzone.
So yeah, I, I love the tutorial video showing yeah. off how to use it after it's already been used. Yeah, I was gonna say, this the doesn't make sense. Mines things is like a hint for a future mission, and it's it's a pretty big one. And you should remember it if you hate going through minefields very carefully. Uh, personally, I'm not a fan, I guess. But it's kill zone, so I'm sure we'll have to do it anyway. Hmm. This looks familiar. Yeah, I was going to say, do, one, do you remember that like, video from Kills on Shadowfall, C. Jacobs, that Blind these, Sally was totally there for us Vanguard with as well? Videos. Out of order, so I do remember you have, that. Here's the cloaking device, man. Here's how it goes. There's yeah, you just saw some Danner with his terrible baseball cap. Wait, so you have like a third person model and everything? Looks or was that just for the demonstration? I uh yes. Okay. He looked a little taller than three <laughs> feet, so the camera must be coming out of your stomach this time. But yeah, no, the the camera is always ch literally chest height in kill zone games, so Yep. Nothing new there. Okay, so boys, here we are. We're back at the beginning of the mission. I see. Uh, I'm going to show off some alternate routes a little bit. Um, instead of going in quiet, I'm just going to make a, a bunch of noise so that I have more people to shoot and make more money because that's what Killzone Mercenary is all about. The holler, holler, get dollar, see, Jacobs. This does Thought seem more like the Killzone that. I know. No, I don't think you should sing more Van Halen. Are you sure? Because I really... Well, that was, you know, it was it was really nice the first time. Uh, you, you have a really beautiful voice, man. Well, th well... Crow, you too. You, between the poem and the Van Halen, you guys, this has been a pretty magical Killzone video, I think. Probably like, one of our best. I don't know. I don't know if I appreciate your sarcasm, Black I, Sally. I, I, yeah, I, love I don't know. Too. I, I'm kind of wondering how the hell we're going to top I, this I at you, this man. point. This is good stuff. It kills them. We're in the kills them together. We are. I listen. I'm not denying that we're a team. We're all or anything, definitely here together right now. That's right. All three of us together, one unit, working as one. We are our own kill zone squad. I look forward to when you, you guys shoot Arctic. Hitler and Thank you then for doom the world. Green to appear on this video. Yep. Yeah. Why? Why have you been ignoring Arctic this whole time, C. Jacobs? Like that's really rude of you, by the way. I, listen, I I figured that he'd eventually stop mailing me, but he keeps sending so threatening letters because cut I up from really magazine loud, parts so to my house. They drew more people out. And I had to turn off the alarm to get in, which which strikes me as like some bad security protocols. The alarm puts everything in lockdown mode, but all you got to do is press a button to unlock it. And I guess, you know, if you're the Hellgas soldiers further in, hoped that that wasn't an invading force that unlocked it. Again, what? There's no yeah. like two-step authentication there, yeah, like, right? Why am I thinking this is just more left over from Lente's uh, run out leading the Hellgast? Like, Did, oh yeah, what? so we are going a different the, route, as, uh, as you probably noticed. We're now going uh, up. El elevators. And then taking an elevator through, taking us to a different side platform to get through here. You say that, but it doesn't look like this is a way forward. That was planned. So you could see what happens when you do that. Yeah, this game is... I'm dedicated in this LP to showing off all the things that happen in Killzone Mercenary. You're you're definitely showing off more of Killzone Mercenary than the developers intended. So good on you for going the extra mile, <laughs> I guess. Not, not to rain on your parade or anything, Sally, but it doesn't seem like the loud route is much different than the quiet route. You just had to hit an extra button to turn off an alarm. I guess that's how it goes, though, really. Shadowfall oh, is a sneaking gentlemen. game. This one is not. I mean, it's kind of starting to get loud now. Yeah, it kind of seems like once you reach this point, you don't have much of a choice. Maybe you can stealth the whole thing. I don't know. Surely once you start hacking shit, they'll be like, no, stop it. Right in that guy's <laughs> armpit. He breathes out of that. Oh my god, is that what the horrifying hell gas mutations were all along? Yep. That's that's why they're all in such a bad mood, is because they have to breathe <laughs> out of their armpits. You, you would be too if you had to smell that all day. <laughs> have you ever stood near a, an army soldier before? They, they do not smell great. 
So here's something special. This is this is just for you, Crow. Uh, since you so so astutely noticed this earlier. Oh. Oh, oh. hell yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah. This is the best alternate yep. ending. All right, watch this. I'll catch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's a trophy. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Fuck I, yeah. I, headshot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that technically is a headshot when you yeah, don't you have a whole body that. left anymore. It's turned you into like a smear on the floor. <laughs> it's awesome. That's the best. It's like idiot bait. Like, they gave you a perfect opportunity to not get hit by it. Like that dude that gets run over by the steamroller in Austin Powers. <laughs> oh, I'll never get tired of that. That's good shit. Yeah, that was just really satisfying. It is, it isn't a it? a slower way of taking down <laughs> one of the Hellgast dropships, but, you know, no less satisfying. So yeah, you you notice that the shotgun guy, uh, they absolutely, positively cannot stop to shoot you until they first remove that yeah, panel. Like a, uh, at which point they will, they will stop and be like, oh crap, it's like, the mercenary. Yeah, I, They'll turn around. I and love how that dude you. had a choice of um, like running forward and getting that panel off there, or noticing you and shooting you, and he chose the panel. And it's already first. off. Hilariously, their animation will make it reappear again so that they can pull it off before taking a break to, you know, attack you. Maybe they're keeping the maybe they're keeping a spare panel in their pockets just to keep things like consistent, you know? Oh, if you if you leave enough space, they try and put a a bomb on it. Oh. Uh, and if it does get on, you can go in and disarm it real quick, but it's it's better to just not let them put the bomb on. What well, wait. Wait, so hang on. They're trying to put a bomb on this thing that you're firing explosives like 2 feet away from? I don't know, man. There's 3 minutes left in the video. Okay, well, I guess uh, I guess we can't fail yeah, we, again. We failed our, our allotment of failures for yeah, this we, one. Yeah, we've got no time left for stupidity. Ah, it's, Killone, it's a Shakespeare. <laughs> yeah, I hear. Yeah, you. like again, that that is the running theme throughout this entire series. It's just failure. It is, isn't it? Like any victory that the ISA and friends have had has been like immediately taken away by human folly sometimes. Jesus. Yeah, their AI is, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, I, I, I really like this game, and I, and I think it works as a handheld. Yeah. Uh, be because the AI is programmed to be a little dense, so they, they will just keep brushing out at you until they reach a certain, oh, look, look, look. <laughs> There's already no, no panel there, but he found a new one to stick on and pull off again. No, what you did was you, you surfboarded on the old one. You, like, swept <laughs> the leg. Yeah, yeah, like, I love that, yeah, you, like, basically, like, did, like, the power slide into him and then just, like, knocked the butt of your rifle up into his crotch, too, just for insult to injury. Yeah, sure, a bit of auto-aim, too, but, uh, whereas, whereas Halo had really good AI and they gave you, uh, the auto-aim to compensate, um, Killzone just makes the AI a little bit, a little bit slow. I've noticed that that's kind of their approach to console controller aiming, and I don't mind that, personally. This is the kind of game I would want to play with a controller, so... I mean, not this one specifically, because it's on the, you know, it's on a portable console. It's a little, you get it's a little dark, mean. Benoit. He, he loves money <laughs> and, and watching hundreds of people die. These are the things he likes. Just like another famous Benoit. Again. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Wow! Oh! I was, you know, it's funny. If you hadn't said that, I was gonna say that he's not the first Benoit to lose so much oh. important to him. <laughs> oh! Now we're all going yep. to hell together. All three of us in this video together. I'm sad that I had enough time to make that <laughs> joke, but I wanted to make it. I remember. I'm the bad person. <laughs> I'm this playthrough's Rico. Well, I mean, yeah, that was the whole point of that section. <laughs> uh, going in without the Jammar. As long as you got some heavy munitions like the Porcupine, you can take it down pretty quickly. Just, I mean, yeah, look, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah I think this one is going way better. I, you know what? I promise I won't do that for any You're future videos. That's, uh, yeah. 
too. No more, no more weird headshot voices. But, Thank uh, God you've come go. around to my to side. I mean, yeah, if you, if you have like small arms, you're kind of hooped, but you should not be playing mercenary so that you only have small arms. You should have an array of gear yeah. so that you're always, you know, good to go. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, actually. But yeah, that's it. Okay, well, thanks for having me back yeah, thank on. You. Thank you for watching. And I'm not and your I'm Blind Sally. I'm Blind. Oh, you <laughs> fucker. I guess I have to be Arctic Stun. Nice. That was great. That was <laughs> excellent. That was so good. Oh, what a nightmare. That was, that was awesome. Wait, 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 hang on. They get a shout out? I, Bisa, what the fuck is this? I have carried this LP on my back, and this is the thanks I get? Like, come on, dude. I, dude, Let's look back a little bit. Like, surely you remember back in Killzone 2, Episode 3, we were discussing the intricacies of Scholar Vasari's plan and absolutely going to town on how ridiculously stupid and self-destructive it is.